we're gonna make waffles so I get lots of questions about the waffles that I post on Instagram so I decided to do a video just to show you guys how easy they actually are to make um, so what I start with is oat flour you can actually buy oat flour at the grocery store but um, lots of times it's not there so if you just take quick oats and blend it in the blender then um, you end up with oat flour exact same macros as as oats and I just get really sick of oatmeal so I decide to make waffles instead um, so 50 grams of oat flour And this is currently my favorite breakfast um, in prep. I don't have a ton of carbs left. Um, and this is an off day. I am not training today, so I actually get more carbs in my first meal on, um, on my off day than what I do on my training day. Just because my carbs um, otherwise are focused more around my training than other times of the day. So 50 grams of oat flour. Um, I actually forgot this. So baking powder. I don't actually measure it. Just kind of put a teaspoon in there. Baking powder is just going to make it fluffy so it's like leavening agent. So the protein that I use because I put pumpkin in these is the TC Nutrition Cinnamon Cereal. Um, it also uh, works really well for like um, for baking. So so one scoop of this. And then I do just give it a mix just to incorporate these ingredients. So pumpkin puree is really good because, well, one, it adds fiber, and two, it has lots of micronutrients because, of course, in prep, we're kind of restricted with um, the food that we eat. We want to have as many micronutrients as possible. So I put 100 grams of pumpkin puree. Do not mix this up with um, pumpkin pie filling because pumpkin pie filling is full of sugar. So 100 grams of pumpkin. And then I put 50 grams of egg whites. It's just a little bit of a binder. And then I use Almond, unsweetened vanilla almond milk and I put about 75 of that in there and then basically with this you're just gonna mix until you get the consistency that you want I find with waffles though it should be a little bit more runny as with pancakes maybe a little bit more thick but But that's about the right consistency. And you can see my old school waffle maker that I got at the thrift store. Five bucks. Actually, you got that for me for a Christmas present, I know. didn't you? I'm so, I treat you so well. I just think that the thrift store, honestly, there's like so much stuff that people that people take there that uh, still works really well. So why why would you go and spend like two hundred dollars on a brand new waffle maker when? you can just use these and they work they do the exact same thing so um, and then I put just a little bit of just so that it doesn't stick in the oh you know what I forgot I forgot blueberries 100 grams of blueberries so I like blueberries cooked right into the waffles as opposed to going on top of. Okay, so 100 
also the amount of batter that you put in there. I think that it's about a quarter of a cup, but what I do is just with my spoon, I put like three of these. Maybe four. I kind of just eyeball it. You still want to put too much in because then it will overflow. And then the blueberries, I uh, stick them in like that. And I put the lid down and we wait. So these are done. Sometimes the blueberries get stuck. So I just have to use a knife to like pop them. So yeah, I like my waffles crunchy. So as you can see, they're like, don't look any different than, than normal waffles. I think this makes like five waffles. Also depends too, like how much, how liquidy your, um, your batter is. So I could have made this a little bit more liquidy. It would go a little bit further. But these ones are a little bit thicker than, than normal. Round number two. And then what I do too with syrup is, so um, we don't really have that great of sugar-free syrup in Canada. And if you do, it's at the supplement store. It's like $14 for a bottle of it. So in the States, I get um, this. However, it still does have calories. So even in two tablespoons or 30 mils, there's still five calories, which can add up. So either you have to take it out of your meal from the carbs that you have. Um, if you're gonna have like, you know, 15 um, calories from it. But what I've been doing is I just measure out 30 mils, which is five grams of carbohydrates um, and then I just use this and I like dip my waffles in it so then at least this is controlled too because condiments can be a place where there are a ton of added calories that people aren't even aware of so um, there are a lot of like calorie free condiments so like honey mustard or G Hughes um, barbecue sauce or like the sweet rays barbecue sauce um, that's sugar free but if you look at the actual nutrition label or the nutrition facts, there are there's still calories. So if you think about like one tablespoon having five grams of carbohydrates, you're having six meals a day and you're putting three tablespoons on each one, um, that definitely can add up to like 100 calories extra a day. And, and then towards the end of prep too, we can become a little bit more sensitive and it can cause some, it can cause some GI issues or um, digestive issues you know, because artificial sweeteners <laughs> disrupts the gut biome. So I'll just run through everything quickly again, just the ingredients. Um, so oat flour, which you can buy in a bag at the store, but if you don't have access to it, blend your quick oats in a blender for a couple minutes and it ends up as flour, same macros. Um, unsweetened vanilla, almond milk, egg whites, baking powder. And then this I just find is one of the best um, protein flavors to put in with pumpkin. So cinnamon cereal, but you could probably use vanilla or like a salted caramel would be good. I just don't think chocolate is good with pumpkin. Um, and then on top, this is the sugar-free syrup that I get, got from the States. And then also I got this from the States. Can't believe it's not butter. And then I use salt as well. So. And then, uh, so what are the macros on this? Um, so there is 40 grams of protein, 57 grams of carbs and four grams of fat. 
That's like what, four? Uh, four, 425. Me putting tanning oil on my, on my, on my waffles. Hopefully it doesn't smell like tanning oil. <laughs> no, it does not.